Hello everybody, it's me from Bespoke Crafts and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be making a card using a Woodware Craft um, Collection stamp called a Be A Gnome and it's FRS998. Um, and I'm just stamping it out, I put it on, do it stamping on Limini card. So I'm using Memento ink and stamping it quite a few times. Um, just so I get a good imprint on it. The next clip I'm going to show you, while I was doing this, I noticed one of my nails had cracked. So I'm just going to fix that. So this is a new kit that I've got. Um, it's, a, it's a Sassy Saints. And it's a dipping powder. So it's just very, very quick. Um, and you just literally put um, a base on it. Dip your finger in the powder, activate it, file it down a little bit. I'm supposed to do this three times, I only do it twice on mine. Um, base again, dip again. That bit finished. Activate it. This is the bit that makes it go hard. It didn't need any filing down. Put the top, top coat back on. There you go. Voila. Job done. <laughs> so back to the card. I just thought I'd show you that bit. Um, so these are the colours that I've just I'm going to be using. I'm using all greys because I'm making the the um the cup a tankard, sort of like a, a silver tankard rather than a, a glass, um, glass, a glass, there you go. Um, the reason why I'm fast forwarding through a lot of my videos is we're having problems with the internet and this video ends up being 12 minutes long. My last video was 16 minutes long and it took about 17 hours to upload um we'll be we're with bt we've just had a new line put in as well and it hasn't made much difference so if i want to continue to do this which i do i'm going to have to fast forward through the videos to make them um as short as i possibly can so there's times when i'll be talking to you and there's times when i'll be playing some music um, and also be putting the colours where you can pause the video um, and see the colours that I'm using. Um, I am writing them down on the pad as I'm doing it, and that's simply for my reference, so I don't forget what I'm doing, um, and I can see the colours as well. So what I'm going to do now is play you a little bit of music and carry on with colouring the card.
So as I finish colouring now, the next part I'm going to do, I'm going to mask off the image. Um, I can't remember which masking paper I'm using, but anyway, but there's a variety. Normally I do use um, Gina Kay's Masking, Mag masking Magic, um, and I'm going to stencil over as for the background. And I do like when you mask over because it makes everything, but the image that I've got now, everything else will seem to be, appear to be behind that image, which I, I like the look of it. Um, and I'm just going to use one of the stencils I got off Timu. There was a pack of, I think, 12. Um, and this is like coffee splatters or drink splatters. I thought it went quite well. And I'm just using what was left on my um, grey brush. Um, and just to put the splats um, just in various places. And as you can see there at the bottom, you can tell more whether it looks actually behind. And a quick clean up, pop them away. And then I'm going to use the small sentiment. And it says, let me just get the card. <laughs> Can't read it from my screen. The screens look really tiny when I'm um, editing. It says, don't worry, be, be happy. <laughs> so I've just done that um, a few times. I've used stays on ink with this one. And when you're doing a, it's such a, a light, faint um, lined font. If you do, when you're just pressing your, um, your top down, just rub your finger gently over and just do it maybe three or four times and it saves the image becoming distorted and squished. And now, as usual, I'm using my Polop Create Emac to do the sentiment. And I'm going to be sort of just putting, have a great birthday, Keith. And also on the back of the card itself, I'm going to put my little logo. This cardstock that I've got now, um, I don't know about anybody else, but I, I do go into charity shops um, looking for card bits. Um, and I got a variety of, of cards. And I think this pack, there's five in it, double sided, um, car all the way through. Um, oh, don't know what happened there. Sorry about that. Um, car all the way through. And it was 25 pence. Brand new, unused. And just using the cloud glue to stick it down. And then putting the sentiment out using my mini guillotine from Tonic Studios, which is the Tim Holtz. Um, I was looking to see whether I could reuse that little bit of card at the back and that was left over of it. It didn't work out properly, so I've just cut another little bit. And then I'm going to pop it on the card. Can I take this opportunity to thank everybody for subscribing? Um, I do appreciate your, um, your being here watching, your comments, uh, your comments as well, your feedback from the last video where the sound wasn't very good, um, but the music was too loud. Um, I hope I've rectified that for this video. Um, as you can see, it's just a touch too short. So I've been that idea. So again, thank you for all your subscriptions. Um, I really, really, really do appreciate it. If you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed, you've got this far, um, please subscribe. Um, it is free and it does help my channel um, and I'd like it to grow um, as much as possible. So now we're coming towards the end of the card. Just placing that on, jingling with my jewellery on my glass mat. I'm sorry about that. And these um, gnomes came in a variety um, last year. I got these from um, Stables Craft Emporium in 
Cabra. Really, really brilliant little company. Anyway, that's it for now. I'm going to see you for the next video. Thank you for watching and bye for now. Bye.